Hey, what's up guys? It's Keoli and we're back for another Hypixel Skylark video. I might sound a bit different. I am in a different room. But anyways guys, we're back on Hypixel Skylark and today I'm going to show you a new money making method that is pretty good. You can make probably, if you're really lucky, you can make up to about 20 million a day from this. So this is really, really crazy and I really recommend you do this. But yeah guys, if this video does end up helping you, be sure to give it a big like and hit that subscribe button for some more content. So basically guys, the method you're going to be actually doing is, you guessed it, dungeons. But specifically floor 2. Most of the most of the dungeon floors are pretty profitable, but floor 2 is pretty much the best one you're going to do. Floor 4 is also pretty decently good, but floor 2 is actually kind of insane right now because of one specific item. There is a got a rabbit in my face there is an item in the dungeon floor 2 that's very very common and it is called the scarfs studies and let's just go see how much this actually sells for all right so here we are at the auction guy and let's just search scarf and we can go lowest bid and accessories all right so look one on the these are all going for about 600k and these are actually surprisingly very very common inside of floor 2 and even from the obsidian chest, which is the most expensive it'll be, it's 500k. So even if you get the unluckiest when you get one, you're still making 100k profit. So let me just run a dungeon real quick. So yeah, I'm just going to head into a random floor 2 here. And we'll get the group filled up. To be pretty effective at this, you're going to need a little bit of sharding money. Out, like, okay, you can be pretty much broke, but you're going to need at least 500k to be able to open these scrap studies to make some pretty good profit. But there's ultimate wise books which you can get for about 50k and then make about 150k profit. But I recommend having at least 500k to start before you start doing this method. Alright guys so here we are, oops someone just gave me spirit leaps, awesome. Alright so here we are in the dungeon floor 2 now. Basically what you're going to be wanting to do is first off lag a little bit because it's dungeon jet. And then what you need to do is go for an S. So just, holy crap lag man. Alright guys, so just go around, clear out those rooms, and then obviously go for those secrets, you know. You don't have to get every secret for S, but, but try to get as many as possible, and try to avoid dying also. And one more thing, make sure you have every room done. You do not want to see a black room, or in a room without a white check on it. Where's the bat at? And... Come here bat. There we go. Alright, and there is the blaze puzzle done. Let's get that, and here is the secret, right, I can't get up there, and here's the secret. Be careful on these things, there is a weird glitch to where if you get smushed by Mandaya, there is a glitch to where you might lose your inventory, to like a double death glitch, so just, if you're dealing with these little crusher things, just be careful. But here is, oh, I'm just, just got crushed by one, as I said that. Here are these secrets, and last one right here. All right, and here we go. Okay, yeah, that is a pretty scary trap because of that bug. And my favorite part, not really, the blood room. Yay. Really, really good way to cheese this. It's literally just to go to the top of the portal and use something like Voodoo Doll and you can pretty much melt them all. Pretty good. All right, and there we go. The blood room is cleared. And looking at the map here. Wait, oh, there's still one left. Where's the guy at? Is he like back here? Oh, he got him, okay. Wait, did he? There's like a guy left somewhere, that's weird. And then here's Scarf. Once we uh, see our map has pretty much all green check marks, meaning we got most of the secrets. And we did all the puzzle rooms and yellow room. That is good. And so what you're gonna do now is take out the priest first, cause he's the big healer. So what I do is just, I just voodoo, hit, and I go to archer. Cause I'll take him out pretty fast. But just make sure you take out the priest first mainly. And then once they're out, and then we can just kinda take out these other guys. And once they're all out, and then we can take out scarf. Alright, and here's Scarf. Uh oh, a little bit of lag there. And 
and there we go we had about a nine minute run that's pretty slow honestly you could probably do about five to six minutes this is a pretty good fast run if you had a good team but there we almost got s plus as you can see basically all you're going for is s to get the obsidian chest but let's see we got uh infinite quiver which isn't good we got bank which is that's also a very bad chest we got bank again very bad chest uh necrotic bad chest and here we got okay so i got a pretty <laughs> i didn't get too good of a, a run here but uh you can see hot potato bug that is not worth it basically i recommend just knowing the price values of everything i'm just gonna go free chest honestly as you can see someone did end up getting the scrap studies pretty much so if you ever get these scrap studies i would recommend getting it because it can come in uh, any of these four chests here. It can be even 50k and you can make like a 500k profit. It's insane. But if even if you get it from the obsidian chest for 500k, it is still worth it. And also guys, don't just go from what I'm saying. Uh, check the price. Make sure it's actually still worth it because it might have gone. It might go down in price. But Scarf Studies is 100% worth it right now. Along with the ultimate wise is about 200-ish k. You can sell it for 210-ish. Okay. Also, Wisdoms are really good. They go for about 170k. Along with the rejuvenates, you can get this a lot in the free chest, which is about like 40-ish K. So there is a lot of stuff you can actually profit from in these chests, but mainly what you're going to be going for is the Scarf Studies, which drop about every one, one out of three runs. So that is, that can be about a 500 K every like what, maybe like every 10 minutes if you get one. Alright guys, so here is an example of an actual good run. Uh, pretty much we also S the run. And as you can see in the obby, I got a fuming book for 1.25 mil. Now this actually says I lost profit, but it go, they go for about 1.3 ish. So I made about 100k profit there. And here we go, guys. Look, look at this. Or wait, which one is it? With the diamond chest. We got these scarf studies for 100k. We're definitely grabbing that. And that is about a 500k profit right there. And as you can see, we got the scarf studies along with a lot of wither essence. So that is actually pretty poggers, and we got it. Not to mention you're getting a lot of wither essence here and you can you can sell this for a little bit so you have about 410 you can either sell this or you can come in the essence shop and use it yeah i'm trying to go for the forbidden blessing five right now but yeah you do get the wither essence and the undead essence from this so it is honestly pretty profitable if you're just trying to make some easy money while you're also leveling up some of your dungeon classes but yeah guys there is the video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was helpful for you Floor 2 is definitely the most profitable floor out of all 4 so far. Um, I'm assuming floor 5 is going to come out pretty soon. And I bet stuff is going to be pretty profitable from there. But as of right now, floor 2 and floor 4 are the current best to make money. So I recommend going to do those. Anyways guys, there we go. Be sure to subscribe for some more high pixel Skyblock content. And have a good one. Peace out. Until next time. Goodbye.